Hello everybody, it's Ed. Another one of my projects I put together. Uh, it's a microcontroller based project, so basically what we've got here is a proto board, which is a plastic doohickey, that's a technical term, which allows us to put chips, resistors, uh, other various equipment or components, electronics components. We plug them into this board and we can, can make all sorts of wonderful combinations. We can try out things, change it, move it around, wire things up very quickly, take them apart. It's a very uh, quick way of putting together circuits and playing around with things. What you're looking at here is a microcontroller chip. Basically it's a computer on a chip, albeit very stripped down computer compared to the computers you're used to thinking about. It's this right here. Basically, uh, the microcontroller is manufactured by a company called Atmel. The, it's, the microcontroller is an AT Mega 48, which is just the model number of it. That microcontroller is hooked up to two buttons. A button here and a button here. Uh, powering the microcontroller. You'll see a couple voltage regulators here. The voltage regulators plug into a wall outlet, or a wall adapter rather. Puts out about 12 volts. The voltage regulator converts it down to five volts. We're gonna go ahead and plug it in here with one hand. So the circuit's now powered up. The computer is now running. It's executing a program I uploaded to it earlier. So you've got a microcontroller, two buttons. The microcontroller then has a few uh, signal wires which go to these two chips here. These two chips are basically driver chips. Their job is to take a little bit of voltage. The low voltage signal is coming from the microcontroller and they boost it to a higher voltage, if you will. Um, they then go to these MOSFET chips. These are basically transistors. Their job is to take a small amount of voltage and then uh, take a larger amount of uh, their job is to take a small amount of voltage acting like a switch and then allowing larger current to flow back out of them. It's kind of like using your finger to flip a light switch. You can use your finger you can use your pinky finger to flip a light switch. That little pinky finger is able to switch on potentially hundreds of volts of power. So you're using a small finger to flip on a switch which allows you to turn on a much bigger circuit and that's essentially what a transistor does. MOSFETs in this case. The MOSFET then goes into this, which is a stepper motor. The stepper motor is an interesting beast. Unlike most electric motors, you see most electric motors, you apply power to them and they go and go and go and go. Stepper motors don't work that way. They're what's referred to as a digital motor. Uh, basically what that means is that you can make them go in steps. I can say, I can say move 45 degrees and I can say move back from where you just came from. And uh, I can repeat that over and over and over again with absolute precision. And that's essentially what a stepper motor is. And you can see on this stepper motor, I have attached a little piece of styrofoam, a little pointer, so that we can see it move around. And here it goes. If I, you notice two buttons to the right and the left. We're gonna hit the right button. And hey, did you see that? It goes 90 degrees. Now I programmed the computer to move the move the motor 90 degrees. I could have programmed it for 15 degrees, five degrees, a super tiny steps. I could have done all sorts of things, but I chose 90 degrees. Do it again, and again, and again. And look, it comes back, back to where it started. So if I push the button four times, it'll come back to exactly where it started from. Look at that. And you might guess the left button, what does it do? It goes the opposite direction. So I can go one button forward, one button back, and it always comes back to the same spot where it came from. Isn't that just nifty? Oh yeah. Gotta love microcontrollers. Bye-bye.